Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We finally did it. We knocked out that TriStar jersey and Gold Rush helmet mixer. So we're going to do uh, two five-box cases of 2021 TriStar Hidden Treasures autographed football jerseys. And then we'll do a four-box case of 2021 Gold Rush full-size helmets. That should be a lot of fun. Um, right, there you go. See, all, all the college rules apply on the non-pro uniforms. Um, oh, I explained it before the video. I'll explain it again for the video. Uh, if a college, since there's no checklist, and this happens with any break that doesn't have a checklist that has college uniforms on there, right? Group break checklist usually does, usually will match up a college player with their pro team in college sets, but sometimes they don't. And products like this, TriStar and Gold Rush and stuff like that, Hit Parade, you know, actually Hit Parades are cards, so they would have checklists. But stuff like these full size, these jerseys and these helmets won't have full checklists. They'll just have sell sheets like this. And sometimes there's college uh, uniforms or college helmets in there. In cases like that, if they're active, they'll go to the team that they're currently on. So if they were if they were traded yesterday, right, it would go to the team they're currently on today. Um, if they're uh, not active, right? If they're retired players, they'll go to the team they played for the longest according to profootballreference.com. All these college rules and other house rules you can find in the FAQ, the Frequently Asked Questions section there. So check that out if you're new to the show. Big thanks everyone here for getting in. All 32 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams four and a three seven times. Lucky seven. One, two, three. And seventh and final time. Allen down to Adam. Four and a three, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six. And once more, right? Yep, seventh and final time again. After seven, we've got the Chiefs all the way down to the Chargers. All right, Alan with the Kansas City Chiefs, Jason with the Bengals, Joseph with the Cowboys, Charles with the Falcons, Michael with the uh, Broncos, Brian with the Washington football team, Kevin with the Cardinals, Aaron with the Colts, Larry with the Titans, Peter with the Panthers, Tice with the Browns, Adam with the Niners, Nick with the Dolphins, Michael with the Texans, Tom with the Bears, Brian with the Patriots, Aaron with the Eagles, Brian with the Vikings, Steve Locke with the Packers, Peter with the Bucks, Nick with the Seahawks, Chris with the Saints, Nick with the Lions, Peter uh, Peter Lombardo, different Peter, with the Ravens, Edwin with the Jags, Brian with the Steelers, Thomas with the Rams, Brian with my Raiders, Larry with the Bills, Brian Frank with the Jets, Colton with the Giants, and Adam with the Los Angeles Chargers. Let's get all this on one page. Let's sort by column B by team. And we're going to pause the video when we come back. We're going to see, and trade at your own risk as well. But when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. Bra Browns, up for trade. All right, BRB. All right, welcome back, folks. There was a little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. It's all good. So that list remains the same for this uh, mixer here. There you go, Tice. Yeah. All right. So in the top camera, we're going to use both cameras, the one over here, the one up there. we got the two jersey cases over there. We're going to do that one first, and then we'll do the four helmets over here. Good luck, everybody. Treasures game day greats. These are the only. Yeah, game day greats is what we're doing. Perfect. So, sorry, so it's a weird angle, but that's the kind of the an example of what you can get. You can see it on the uh, sell sheet as well. 
Who am I? I'm in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Set nine receiving records at Kutztown University. I like TriStar. They give you these little game show cards right here for who am I. Finished his NFL career. Fin well, it's who am I. Finished my NFL career. Fourth in all-time reception. Sixth in receiving yards and seventh in receiving touchdowns. A four-time AFC champion. A three-time All-Pro selectee. And seven-time Pro Bowl selectee. Played in four Super Bowls, did not win one, alas. Who am I? Write this person's name down right here, too. That's right. It would have to be Bills, and and William and Adam got it. Andre Reed. So these are custom jerseys. So I'm, I'm unlike last night's baseball jerseys. So I'm just gonna leave it nicely folded in here. But there's a good look at his autograph. There's the TriStar sticker right there. Andre Reed. All right, so that's for the Bills. Buffalo! Larry Jensen with the Buffalo Bills. Let's get that taped up there. Thanks, Larry, for getting in. All right, next one. Next one is um, oh okay. I'm part of the Washington Redskins Ring of Fame, so Brian Croft is going to get this one. First team All Pro, NFC Player of the Year, NFL Most Valuable Player of the Year in 1982, two time Pro Bowler and a Super Bowl champion. This is a great story. Uh, and, and I'm a place kicker. Think about your place kickers in the early 80s who won an MVP. Who am I? Place kicker, Tice. Think about Redskins place kickers in the early 80s. He won an MVP. There you go, Kevin. Yeah, Mark Mosley. I, I, I don't remember what the circumstances were of him being the MVP. There it is. Was that a strike season? Maybe it was a something like that. There it is. Oh, and there's the uh, corresponding JSA sticker and card in there as well. for him. Good for Mark Mosley. Kickers are people too. All right. Um, 
part of this team's Ring of Honor. Who am I? Three-time first-team All-Pro, six-time Pro Bowler, and a Super Bowl champion. Nicknamed the A-Train. Who am I? Part of the Super Bowl XXX VII champion. Six-time Pro Bowler, three-time first-team All-Pro. I think we've chatted about that, right, Tice? The Mark Mosley year was a strike, was, I think, a strike season. And then all the writers were like, F the regular players. Let's just, let's just do that. There you go, William. Yeah, the A train. Mike Allstott. There you go. There's the Allstott jersey. There's, there's his autograph. Pretty good looking jersey too. Nice, nice layers on the numbers here. There's the Beckett sticker, the card. Buccaneers, Peter Ng with the Bucks. What's up, Rex? Fourth box, and yeah, he was a beast, Mike Allstott. All right, who am I? I'm part of the, wow, this is interesting. Okay, I'm, I, I got uh, elected into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1992. I was your 1967 NFL interception leader and your 1967 defensive rookie of the year. Seven-time Pro Bowler, seven-time All-Pro selectee, four-time All-NFC, uh, and earned a music gold record singing background on Marvin Gaye's What's Going On in 1971. Who am I? That's some good trivia. Good trivia card, TriStar. to this person. Uh, you are in the right division. NFC North. Well, I'll just give the team away. Uh, it's for Nick Jones and the Lions. I don't know if people are going to be able to uh, to get this. crazy it's um it's lem barney so he befriended motown he played for detroit right he played for the lions he befriended motown recording artist marvin gay and when gay unsuccessfully tried out for the lions in 1970 that i didn't know either barney and, and teammate mel Farr sang background vocals on gay's classic 1971 song what's going on and in 2015 Barney was hired to sing the National Anthem at the Pro Football Hall of Fame induction ceremony. So there you go. Nice, there he is. Old Lem. You got the TriStar hologram sticker right there. Yeah, Rex got it right away. He's like Len Barney, of course. Yeah, that that's kind of a deep cut, but 
but impress your friends with that sort of with that music knowledge. Got a Hall of Fame defensive back background vocals on what Marvin Gaye's What's Going On. Nick Jones with the Detroit Lions. Fifth box, we got five more to go. So keep those thinking caps on. All right, who am I? This is college uniform, and I, I'm still with the same team that drafted me. All right. Who am I? I'm a Pro Bowler. Second team, first team, All-American. Second team, first team, All-ACC. An ACC champion. Second team, All-ACC in 2014 as well. And USA Today High School All-American. I've got a career, 3,661 yards already. 33 rushing touchdowns, 148 receptions, and a few receiving touchdowns. Second round pick in 2017. Running back. 5'10". 210. Who am I? Went to uh, Miami Central High School. And went to man, Will William, right on the right on the nose. What gave, what gave it away? Oh, 2017 second round pick might have given away. Pick 41 overall by the Minnesota Vikings in his Florida State gear. There you go. There's Dalvin Cook's autograph. It used to just, he's gotten better on his autographs. A lot of times, guys regress on the autographs. It used to just be D and a C, but now he gives you little squiggles. Right there, you got a number inscribed right there too. Ah, 2014 ACC gave it away. All right, so that of course goes to the Minnesota Vikings and that's gonna be for Brian Croft. Kinda keep that nicely folded in here. Tennessee, if you, uh, yeah, thank you, Adam. If you look at the, the break schedule, that'll tell you exactly how many fillers we need to do. That, that break schedule is pretty valuable. Now, in some cases, if the full spots are moving more quickly than the fillers, then we'll add spots back and cancel a filler. So we pivot to what helps the break go faster. I haven't updated that filler list yet, but but uh, it's important to keep an eye on that because there's, mul there's multiple that we'll have to do. Here comes another five. And then the four helmets. So a nice little uh, TriStar Gold Rush mixer. All right. I'm part of the College Football Hall of Fame, entered in 1996. Two-time Rose Bowl MVP, a 1979 Walter Camp Award winner, 1979 Maxwell Award winner, 1979 Heisman Trophy winner. Played college football at USC. And a 1987 Pro Bowl selectee. Who am I? He's in his college gear here. Let's see. And he was also the PFW NFL Comeback Player of the Year at one point. He 
played for two teams his entire career. Let's see which team he played for the longest. He played with he played with uh, these two teams an equal number of times. So we're gonna we have to go by a tiebreaker, which is the next column over in ProFootballReference.com, which is games. And he played ten more games with uh, with the second team of my career. Any guesses? Kind of have to think think back to your 1979 Heisman Trophy winner. Yeah, this one's kind of a tough one. It's Charles White. You got the Heisman inscription there. Now he played with two teams for four seasons, Cleveland and the Rams. So since the careers were tied, we're gonna have to go to the next column over. And he played 10 more games with the Rams. So this will have to go to Thomas Anderson and the Los Angeles Rams. Sorry, Cleveland. <laughs> right, William saying the fake USC. Right. USC, out where uh, William Fulmer is, means something different than it does out here in Southern California. All right, next one. All right, who am I? Another old school guy, a pro football Hall of Famer in 1993. Part of this team's honor roll part of the 1970s All-Decade team, a two-time Super Bowl champion, three-time AFC champion, a 1969 AFL All-Star selectee, five-time first-team All-Pro, and a five-time Pro Bowl selectee. Who am I? I was also a... What position did I play? I was a guard, tackle. From Groveland, Georgia. Who am I? I guess part of important part of those big. Uh, those big and um, my, I'll just I'll give you the, the the team. It's Miami, Miami Dolphins, which is going to go to Nick Stober. Can you guess who he is? This might be a little bit of a of a tougher one. Thinking about thinking of your your offensive lineman, it's Larry Little. There's his autograph right there. Sure, I'm surely a big part of the Miami Dolphins' success. So, congrats to Nick Stover. Miami Dolphins. All right, 
three more to go from this case. Where the scene is. <laughs> All right, next player. All right. Uh, I'm a five time Pro Bowler, first team All Pro. Part of the 100 Sacks Club, an AFC Defensive Player of the Year in 2013, was the NFL Sacks Leader in, in 2013, and part of this team's Ring of Honor, and I won a Super Bowl. Yeah, I think I ended up with, uh, with 123 sacks. And that 2013 season um, had 19 and a half sacks. Did that team win the Super Bowl that year? No, not that year. Different year. You're on the right track, Ryan. I think you. I think you meant to say Dwight Freeney, right? Well, Tennessee, not really. I mean, it could be tomorrow. That's up. That's entirely up to you and the rest of the crew and how many spots they're they're willing to buy, how motivated they are. I've seen it half. I've seen stuff like that break within the day. Sometimes it takes longer. Sometimes it takes shorter. But it's entirely up to the entire crew. Yes, there you go, Eric. You got it. It's Robert Mathis. There's his autograph. <laughs> That's right, Adam. At that rate, we never break any. I mean, if, if we all get motivated and we just say, hey, let's do it, it can happen. All right, Colts. Aaron Pettit with the Colts. I almost wrote Robert Mathis. It's not going to Robert Mathis. It's going to go to uh, Aaron Pettit. Yeah, that's a good point, William. I feel like I feel like everyone remembers Dwight Freeney, right? But Ro Robert Mathis kind of goes kind of goes under the radar. Next round of Who Am I? Another college jersey here? Okay. Oh, okay. I'm more of a more of a newer school guy. So I was drafted uh, in twenty twenty, last year. In the second round, second round running back last year. So in 2020, I had, a, I had an okay season. I, I had uh, 625 rushing yards, a couple touchdowns. I had 100, 111 receptions, 100 yards receiving, or one receiving touchdown. But I feel like he started to start to gain a little more steam at the end of the season. Yeah, against New England, I had 171 rushing yards that day. A couple catches, too. No touchdowns, but 171 rushing yards in New England in Week 13. 
a couple weeks before that, 84 yards, 72 yards and a touchdown. So a little slow start to my career, but I feel like I showed a little promise there. Rushed for 131 yards against the Seahawks in last year's playoffs with a touchdown, a couple catches. And then the next game after that in Green Bay, uh, 90 yards and a touchdown and a catch. Who am I? And I played for uh, Florida State. There you go. William Fulmer's got it. Yeah, not DeAndre Swift, not Zach Moss, not Jonathan Taylor. It was Cam Akers. Oh, there's his autograph. Right down there. Yeah, wasn't lighting the world on fire at the beginning of the year. There's the, uh, there's the JSA card. And the JSA sticker right there. But really showed some, some really nice moments last year. It could be could be a nice sleeper candidate for fancy teams maybe? Like as an as, as a RB two perhaps? All right, so the Rams, that'll be for Thomas Anderson with the Rams in this mixer here. <laughs> William almost had it. He said, I, I had typed out Cam Akers but thought he was third rounder. All right, last one. Hopefully hopefully another, another more current -y kind of player. The old school guys are nice, but... No, well, let's see some of the more more current guys. Not a current guy, but but a good guy here. A good guy here. College football Hall of Famer in 2008. Pro football Hall of Famer in 2007. Part of the 10,000 yard rushing club. Five time Pro Bowler. Three time First Team All Pro. Four time AFC Champion. Your 1991 AP NFL MVP, and your 1992 NFL Offensive Player of the Year, played college football at Oklahoma State University. Who am I? Man, William is too good at this. It is Thurman Thomas. Oh, and Brian and Jeffrey ended up getting it too. There it is, Thurman Thomas, silver ink autograph. There's the TriStar card and their authentication sticker right here. I'm just going to keep it nicely folded in here, but I'm sure there's the three of his number 34 right there. He's got some good penmanship, too. Let's take another look at that again. Buffalo! Larry Jensen with the Buffalo Bills. Oh, got the, you, got, you got that Andre Reid in the other case. Yeah, he's pretty good. He ended up with 12,074 rushing yards, 65 touchdowns. And he was he he ended up knocking out twelve years as a running back in one year at the end of his career with Miami. So thirteen years for for a running back, pretty good. All right, four full size helmets coming up. So those helmets 
are in this big case right here. So I'm just going to leave that on the floor. camera an example of what you can get so Adam I am having a good day we started off a little slow but then it ramped up really quickly everyone wanted to hang out and do some breaks on Memorial Day weekend which I appreciate Now, Gold Rush does not give me fun game show cards, but maybe that may be something they can do in the future. But they will put the names in here, so... Okay. So, let me just do some quick research here, just in Wikipedia. Should be able to get this pretty, pretty easily. Uh, I'm a safety. Oh, man, William Fulmer is going to get this immediately. Well, give everyone. I know you're going to know this, William. I'm going to, I'm going to give this, uh, give everyone a few more chances here. It was drafted in 1996. In the second round, safety, six foot, 210 pounds. Only played for two teams my entire career, and I'm currently was an administrator with this team. Right there, nine-time Pro Bowler, four-time First Team All-Pro. Second team all pro in 2009. Part of the NFL 2000s all decades team. My number retired by, by my team. And a first team all ACC in 1995. A Super Bowl champion. 1,147 total tackles. 26 sacks from a safety. 26 sacks from a safety. 36 forced fumbles. 19 fumble recoveries. 37 interceptions. 4 total touchdowns. I'm a Hall of Famer. All right, William, is that who you were thinking of? Adam's got it. And Thomas Anderson's got it. And I went to Clemson. Will, Will, William Fulmer is located in South Carolina, so... Um, And Aaron Pettit, it's going to go to you. And I guess Eagles fans would know it too. It's an eagle. It's Brian Dawkins, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is a cool helmet. So you got the matte black on here. You got the green. Adam Coverman needs the 2020 Offensive Rookie of the Year. I feel like they would have put that on the sell sheet. You never know. All right, so there's the Eagles logo right there. There's the sticker right over here. Pretty sick, right? Here's a closer look at the green ink autograph. Let's try to catch in the light a little bit better. Yeah, these are specialty helmets. So on the front right there, you also get the, the Eagles badge right on the front of the helmet. Aaron Pettit with the Eagles, congrats. Uh, no, not anymore.
<laughs> Jason Jaspi might might be interested in that. All right, next helmet. Who am I? Um, running back. 5'10", 226 pounds. Went to Salem High School. In uh, Salem High School, New Jersey. Ended up being a second round pick last year in 2020. Still with my team. PFWA All-Rookie Team, bunch of other awards, uh, had 1,000, 1,169 receiving yards in 2020 with 11 rushing touchdowns and 36 receptions, 299 receiving yards and a receiving touchdown as well. So I, I can get it out of the backfield a little bit. And I went to college in Wisconsin. So I think that should give it away. Se second round pick last year, running back out of Wisconsin. Who am I? We were talking about it a little bit earlier too. Yeah, there you go. William and, and Brian's got it. Jonathan Taylor. So this is another cool looking helmet for the Colts. That's gonna that's another one for Aaron Pettit, by the way. Ah, this is cool too. So another matte black helmet. And with kind of a deep blue color and a blue ink autograph right there from Jonathan Taylor. Colts badge up front right there too. There's the fanatic sticker right back there as the authentic authentication. Nice, yeah. I like that. I like how they color match the the ink to the helmet as well. Remember the Brian Dawkins was was neon green. And we got a nice blue right here as well. Congrats again, Aaron Pettit. Two more to go. Next one, who am I? This is also kind of cool. That's really nice. Okay. The helm is really nice. I don't know if the fans of the team like this guy, but puts up numbers. Who am I? I am a quarterback. Standing at 6'3", 202 pounds. Played for two teams my entire career. A two-time Pro Bowler. An NFL completion percentage leader. The Outback Bowl champion. And second team all Big Ten. Uh, in my career, I've got uh, 28,372 passing yards. 190 touchdowns to my 84 interceptions. 
a 97.9 career passer rating. Was a fourth round pick back in 2012. like people are split on this guy some people are like yeah this guy's great he puts up numbers just, you know blah 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 and then other people are like he sucks he's never gonna win you games blah, blah, blah. but he puts up numbers really solid quarterback on any of your fantasy teams in most years yep Jeffrey Shea has it Kirk Cousins so this is a cool looking helmet too so you've got you've got the Viking horn in purple and there's his autograph in neon yellow right here. Here's a better look on it on my face cam right here. There's the Beckett card. Other side of the helmet, same horns. It's a really sick helmet actually. Yeah, he's got great penmanship. Slings it around. What's 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 not to like about Kirk Cousins? You got the Vikings badge up on front right there as well. Uh, Minnesota Vikings Brian Croft. Yeah, the Brian Dawkins? Oh, 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 sorry, the game. Uh, I haven't been paying attention, but they were cruising. They were up by like 20 points at some point. I stopped paying attention. Like, Joel Embiid's out there doing like Hulk Hogan ear, cupping his ear to the crowd and everything in Washington on the road, so <laughs> he's feeling pretty confident. All right, final helmet, ladies and gentlemen. Final helmet. Oh, yeah, and it's a final. 132-103, Philadelphia. Cruising. All right. Last helmet in this uh, TriStar jersey and Gold Rush football helmet mixer. I appreciate everybody spending uh, a part of their Memorial uh, Day weekend with us. I appreciate that. Things are opening up. You could be doing a lot of things, but I appreciate you hanging out with a little bit with me. All right, last one is another quarterback. Born in Gainesville, Florida, 6'2", 215-pound quarterback. Played for one team my entire career. First round pick in 2017. Three-time Pro Bowler, NFL passing yards leader, PFWA All-Rookie team, so on and so forth. I mean, he's got a lot of, lot of awards, a lot of college awards, a Heisman Trophy runner-up in 2016. I have uh, 14,539 passing yards, 104 touchdowns to my 36 interceptions, 1,600 rushing yards, 17 rushing touchdowns. It's pretty good and a little bit, a little bit of hot water right now. But as a player, he's uh, he's pretty good. Yep, Deshaun Watson. You guys got it. William got it first. Brian and Adam too. Deshaun Watson. And then, of course, went to Clemson. And there it is. So the Texans logo is in red, and his autograph is in red as well. So 
So I don't know how that, how his legal situation is going to pan out. But as a quarterback, he's pretty good. There's all the stickers right there. Houston, who's got the Texans? Michael P. with Houston. So pretty, pretty good helmet right there too. Yeah, the matte black look is really nice. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was our, we had 14, 14 box football mixer featuring 10 TriStar jerseys and four Gold Rush full-size specialty helmets is what they call them. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.